All right, guys, we got the nine inch all cut off here. We dropped off the powder coater to get sandblasted. It's way easier than trying to wire wheel these whole things. He charges about 40 bucks, so it's a no brainer. We have the tab zone truss. We got the nine inch on my fixture here, which is a piece of uh, four inch, three eighths wall box tubing, welded a plate on. Then we use U-bolts to hold the ends down because when you weld the truss, it wants to pull backwards. So we just use the U-bolts, hold it down, then we could stitch weld, jumping around to spread out the heat. And then we'll get this thing trussed so then we could start tabbing it for the four link for the four wheel drive to come over there. All right guys, so what you saw me just do is clamp the truss in place. And any spots that it was hitting, there's some slight gaps up here at the top. Uh, so it's hitting down here at the bottom, so I just marked it out with the Sharpie and uh, took it over to the flap disc, just grounded it. There's no more than an eighth inch on any spot, so that's always good. Uh, these tab zone trusses fit pretty well, um, but every nine inches is going to be slightly different. So we had to do that. Uh, we also chopped the ends so they're the same distance from the bearing caps. So now we'll get this clamped back in place and then we'll start uh, stitching it together. All right, we got it all tacked up. I'm actually gonna move this over to my sawhorses so it's a little bit lower workable height so I can rotate it from uh, top to bottom uh, so I can get even welds. All right guys, we got the rear end moved over here to the sawhorses, a little bit lower, but now I can t tip it to weld one side, tip it back to weld the other. Uh, so let's get that part done. Got it all welded here. We'll let this cool fully until it's uh, cool to the touch before we take it out of the fixture. Uh, because as it cools, it will shrink and uh, try to move on us. So we're gonna keep it bolted here uh, overnight. Then tomorrow we'll get it back. We'll. Uh So the nine inch here, they don't have a drain plug from the factory, so I uh, picked up one of these flush mount uh, 3 8 MPT with a magnetic drain plug. Uh, you can see that there. So we'll uh, drill a one inch hole, get that stuck in there, we'll weld it around.
All right, so we got the rear end all tabbed up now. We got the upper link mounts uh, set at the right angle. We have a fill plug here, which will also swap this out for a fitting for our vent line. Uh, we got the lower link mounts on already, so now we just got to pull it off of this fixture and then get everything welded up and then we'll be able to put it under the truck. All right guys, here we go, rear end all tabbed for our four link. We got our upper link mount set the correct angle, lower link mounts, fill plug, drain plug. Once it's under the vehicle, we'll get our bump stop pads, limit strap tabs uh, placed. Once the axles arrive, we'll get the caliper mounts all set, do some tabs for the brake lines, all that. And then uh, this job will be uh, done and onto the customer for uh, two work shock mounts and all that. So